Hey gamers, what's going on? It's John. In this video, I want to review, uh, this is the Brawler 64 wireless N64 controller. This is by Retro Fighters. I want to say a big thank you to Retro Fighters as well for sending me these controllers to, to review for you. Uh, really cool product. I've, I've reviewed other controllers by Retro Fighters in the past. I'll put a direct link to their website uh, below. This is not a paid review or anything like that, uh, but I just love the product. They send this to me and I want to do a review over for you guys. So uh, really simple to hook up if you have N64. What it comes with, it comes with obviously the controller, it comes with a dongle here uh, that you plug in simply to your N64. Uh, to pair it, you hold the start button for three seconds, the lights will pair, and you have up to three, 30 feet of wireless capability. I don't know if it's Bluetooth or not, but it's 30 feet, which is plenty of length. Um, also, uh, you can see here, there's a memory card. There's no slot for a memory card on the controller itself. The memory card goes here. It does not work with the rumble pack because obviously the rumble pack would, would plug into the dongle. So if you have a rumble pack, you like the rumble, that wouldn't necessarily work with this particular controller. Uh, and the controller itself looks different. You notice it comes in various colors. The ones I have in front of me, obviously the standard gray. You have a really cool like transparent green. You have kind of a transparent turquoise color, which is awesome and my favorite is the transparent red, which is awesome. These are available on their website. Um, and also each one of their products, they, they do come with a cool key tag, keychain here, which is pretty awesome. And a very simple uh, user manual. And there's Q and A here, frequently asked questions, which is nice, uh, customer service, how to hook it up, social media. Good company, uh, they've been around for a while. They're part of the gaming community, especially here on YouTube, which is great. Um, and I love the fact it feels really good. It feels like a standard controller. Here's kind of a put it perspective. Here's the original N64 controller. I wasn't a huge fan of these. Um, it, it's kind of a you know weird design with if you're left-handed, right-handed, whatever, right? You have to kind of hold it three different ways. Well, what they've done is they pretty much if they married an N64 controller and married it with like a Xbox controller, this is basically what you get. Uh, so it has more of a, a kind of a standard, more modern feel to it, which is great. And that's what Retro Fighter does is they take kind of a retro style and product and they make it more modern feel, whether in this case it's wireless, they've updated the, the button layout. So you still have the C buttons here, like before, uh, you got your B and A, your start, um, turbo now, which is different. There's a turbo button like you get on like a TurboGrafx-16 controller, you can hit that. And if you hold down B, it'll continue hitting the action button. For example, you can clear that out. Um, you also have two, uh, four shoulder buttons now. So you have R, L, you also have uh, the Z button is now moved to here. So again, more of a modern uh, layout. You can see the button, you can see it blinking. It means it's not paired because my system's not on quite yet. Uh, so without any further ado, what I want to do is plug this into my, my system. Let's take a closer look. I'll show you how it pairs and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I want to show you how to hook this up. Very simple. I have this dongle here I showed you earlier. All I do is plug this into the controller port. You'll see it start flashing. I have my controller here as well. I hold start for a few seconds to pair it. And you'll see it's paired. It's that simple. You can see both lights are not blinking anymore. So they're all both paired. Battery life on this controller, by the way, 10 plus hours of battery life, which is great. It is a lithium rechargeable battery and it takes about two and a half hours of charge. Uh, so it has the connector there. Um, and I just like the controls. I mean, you got the normal standard N64 controller. You have to kind of move your hands around to get access to the D-pad and analog stick. Here it's all in one, feels more natural, more modernized, which is good. Um, when it's idle for three minutes, the controller will go to sleep. So it won't waste the battery, which is an ultra nice feature. And once you're synced up, to your dongle, you don't need to resync it every time you play, which is great. So let's go and get started. This is Cruising USA, by the way. I love this game. Great port from the arcade. It works up to 30 feet away. So it's got some really good range as well. I don't have a control pack in there, but if I did, it would just plug in right there. We'll do automatic. There was a buttons here that changed the that changed it to like a school bus. I forget what those that, that was, but there was like a secret there. Anyway, it's been a while since I've played this particular port of Cruising USA. Don't mind the, the line, the fade line that goes through. It's a CRT TV. It's hard to capture on uh, through a capture device with CRT. But this is the way the game was supposed to be played, right? Old school on old school television. 
I don't notice any lag when it comes to the controls. It's pretty immediate. I'm using the analog stick. I can use my D-pad as well, which I'm using now. See how well you can see that. I'm watching, sorry, I'm watching the camera there for a second, so. This is a fun arcade racer. If you've ever played this game, super fun. It's poor from the arcade. This is a Midway and Nintendo marriage that they did here. Very cool.